A very good morning to you and welcome to the Morning Outlook Report. I'm Rachel Jones reporting live from Calkine TV Sydney Studios. Now, the Australian share market is expected to open lower this morning, according to the latest Spy Futures. The ASX 200 is likely to open 7 points or 0.1 percent lower. At the closing bell yesterday, the S&P ASX 200 was 1 percent or 70 points lower at 7,051. Now, the best performing sector yesterday was communication services. That was up 0.4 percent. The worst performing sector was materials. That was down 2.4%. The best performing stock yesterday was Polynovo. Their shares closed 15.6% higher at $1.07. The worst performing stock was AUB. Their shares closed 9.9% lower at $19.73. Now looking to some business news from this morning now. And David George has been appointed CEO and Managing Director of the Magellan Financial Group. He's a former Deputy Chief Investment Officer for Public Markets at the Future Fund. He'll start the role on the 8th of August. Kirsten Morton will become Chief Operating Officer and Chief Financial Officer after filling the CEO role on an interim basis. And Pushpay report underlying EBITDAF of 62.4 million US dollars in line with guidance for the year ending the 31st of March 2022. They saw a strong increase in customer numbers up 31% and report positive growth performance with continued year-on-year -year uplift in operational and financial metrics and that's despite economic and sector headwinds. Pushpay is a donor management system for charities operating within the United States. And GrainCorp report EBITDA of $427 million for the half year, ending the 31st of March. That's up from $140 million in the prior corresponding period. MPAT is up $246 million from $51 million. And interim dividends declared 24 cents per share, fully franked. It was eight cents per share last year. Now, Managing Director and CEO Robert Spurway says global demand for Australian grain, oil seeds and vegetable oils has remained elevated after two consecutive bumper crops in East Australia during a period of tight global supply. Now, the conflict in Ukraine and resulting Black Sea trade disruptions have also created uncertainty in global grain markets, and that's prompted buyers to seek alternative sources of supply. This has further increased demand for Australian commodities. Well, on that note, it's now time for a short break, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. And welcome back to the Morning Outlook Report. Over in the U.S. and on Wall Street, the Dow Jones fell 0.26 percent. The S&P 500 rose 0.25 percent and the Nasdaq ended 1 percent higher. Now, the Dow Jones traded in a more than 850 point range from its intraday early high to its midday low during the session. Now, over in Europe, the Stocks 50 rose 0.8 percent, the FTSE surged 0.4 percent, and the CAC soared 0.5 percent, with the DAX ending 1.2 percent higher. MSCI's gauge of stocks across the globe gained 0.08 percent. Now, the Australian and New Zealand dollars sank to two-year lows yesterday as a rout in global equities shook risk assets of all stripes and worries about a slowdown in China hammered commodities. All prices fell in volatile trade as the market balanced impending European Union sanctions on Russian oil with demand concerns related to coronavirus lockdowns in China. A strong dollar and growing recession risks also. Now, WTI recently fell 3.35% to $99.64 US cents a barrel. Brent crude was at $102.26 US cents a barrel. That's down 3.47% on the day. Spot gold fell 1% to 1,835 US dollars an ounce. That's as investors eyed the rising dollar and also waited for today's inflation data. Meanwhile, Bitcoin was up 3.7% after earlier falling to its lowest level since July 2021. Tuesday's gain recovered some losses from its 11.8% plunge on Monday. 
Well, that's all for our Morning Outlook report here on Calkind TV. Have a great day trading and stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. This is Rachel signing off for now.